Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a Cinderella inspired look. It's the next in my Disney series. I will link that series playlist down below if you are interested in seeing the Disney movies up to this point. I've been going in order, starting with, you know, the first ones to come out and working my way through. I'm just doing the animated ones, the really big ones. I'm skipping over stuff like, you know, Mickey's Playhouse or whatever that's not as popular. Um, the next one after this is going to be Alice in Wonderland. That will be very, very cool. Should be a crazy video. If you're interested in seeing how I created this look, just stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started with this tutorial. So when I think Cinderella, I think of the blues and golds and obviously light and girly and airy. So that's what I'm going for. I've already done my foundation, concealer, and brows. So let's get started. We're going to be using a lot of ColourPop shadows today. A lot. So the first one I'm going to take is Beauty Call. So it's just a really nice light blue, almost like a baby blue. And I'm going to take it on this fluffy brush and I'm going to put it in my crease and just maybe a little bit all over the lid. Actually, I'm going to put it all over the lid using my fingers and then I'm going to blend it up into the crease. Yeah. So I think ColourPop shadows definitely apply much better and more pigmented when you can use your finger than with a brush. And I'm not too worried about getting it up into the crease because I'm going to blend it anyway. When I do color pop, I keep a little towel nearby because I don't want it to get super messy and all over the place. So I just try to kind of rub off the colors as I go off my hand. And then I'm just going to blend that light blue up, blend out the edges. So once you have that blended out into the crease, you're going to take the smaller blending brush and another color pop. It's called Ibiza. This one's just a tiny bit darker and it's got a little more sparkle to it. And I'm going to put this kind of in the outer V, just kind of in the outer corner of the eye. Just to give a little bit of depth and dimension here. How many of you are following along and know which Disney movie is next? Anybody? It's going to be Alice in Wonderland. So this next video should be some fun and crazy shenanigans. One more blue color just to darken up the crease a little bit more and give more dimension again with this itty bitty pencil brush. We're going to do one more color pop in kimono. This one I'm going to go in really lightly and really carefully. I know I've said that before and it never really works that way does it, but I'm going to try to so that I don't end up super dark because compared to the other colors this is a really dark blue and I just want to kind of blend it slowly in Do you guys have a favorite Disney princess when you were even now? Do you have a favorite? A lot of people love Cinderella, and I do too, but she was never really my favorite princess. 
I think my favorite would have to be, I don't know, I like the strong princesses, like, I love Belle, and Little Mermaid, Ariel, and Pocahontas. You know, the ones that they kind of stood up for themselves, but they needed their man a little bit too. And just take this brush again and blend out any harsh edges. No extra product on my fluffy brush. Okay, so now using my angled liner and my gold color pop in Get Lucky, we are going to create a gold liner, a gold liner, gold liner, a gold wing. And we're going to do it carefully. Okay, so I did my gold liner a little bit thicker because I'm still going to go in with my Physician's Formula in Ultra Black and do a very, very thin line just to make the gold really pop out. So we're going to use this and just trace right underneath the gold super, super thin, hopefully. Okay, so now as always I'm going to go off camera and curl my lashes and then apply my two favorite mascaras, the Roller Lash and IT Cosmetics Hello Lash Extensions, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that my eyelashes are curled and ready, I am going to line my waterline and I think just a little bit underneath with this Marcel eyeliner in, I don't know what color in Blue Lagoon. And then I'm just going to take this pencil brush with Beauty Call on it and blend out that under eye a little bit. And then on this smaller pencil brush I'm going to go back in with that gold and bring that down under the eye just a little bit as well. I'm also going to place the gold in the corner of the eye, just to kind of make your eye pop a little. Okay, that's it for the eyes, so let's move on to the rest of the face. For bronzer, I'm going to use this little, the Balm, Balm Desert Bronzer Blush that I got in my birch box. I love the color. If you saw my birch box video, you know how I feel about the size. Because this is my brush that I use for bronzing, so just kind of do my best to get it on the brush. Bronze up my face just a little. Just lightly, because I don't want this to look too bronzy, because it is a Cinderella look. So like I said before, I want to keep it light. Mm. 
And I don't know if you guys know this, but these are my least watched videos. These Disney tutorials, but you know what? That's okay, because I love doing them. So I'm going to keep doing them, even though they're definitely not as popular as like an unboxing, like for my Ipsy or my Birch Box. But I think they're a lot of fun, and if you like them, let me know down below. I want to know who, who is enjoying these videos. Tell me. Hmm. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use another color pop. Blush in between the sheets. I tend to just kind of apply this with my fingers. I feel like it's just easier. That's just my preference. And then I go back in with a brush to blend and smooth it all out. And for my highlighter, I'm also using a ColourPop. I should have just called this a ColourPop tutorial. Really. We're going to use Lunch Money. This is another one that I just kind of dab it on with my finger and then I'll blend it out with a brush. And I, these ColourPop highlighters, you guys, all their products are amazing, but these are just so smooth. It's like it just glides onto your skin with like no effort, none. I mean, look at that. Look at that glow. Like, I feel like a glowing goddess with these color pops. I love it. Can you see that highlight? Oh, yeah. But that highlight, though. Maybe just a little bit in the brow bone. And last but not least, the lips. I'm going to start out with a really bright pink, but it's going to come down from that. I'm going to line with this NYX liner in Pinky Rose. I'm just going to line and fill the lips in. And the reason I'm using such a bright color is because the lipstick I'm going to be using on top of this is very light. So I don't want my lips to look, like I don't want them to disappear. You'll see. Okay, this would not be a Cinderella-inspired tutorial without my MAC 
Cinderella lipstick. I love these, you guys. I have both of them. This one is Royal Ball, which is pink. And I also have Free as a Butterfly, which is a, like, a nudie color. Oh, it smells so good. And I just, mm, I love them. And my friend went and she waited in line and she got these for me. She's amazing. She keeps saying she's going to start a YouTube channel. So, if she does, I'm going to link that down below. Do you see how much that changed? Okay, you guys, that is it for my Cinderella-inspired tutorial. I hope you liked it, and I hope you had as much fun as I did. As always, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. It really helps me out, all the above. You can also follow me on Instagram. That is at Coffee and Lipstick Nolt. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.